Have you ever thought how you could isolate and bond a tooth like this where the gingiva is almost creeping into the defect? The only solution is to place a rubber dam and a double tie floss and get the peripheral seal of enamel exposed and now get an adequate bond and seal with composites. I'm showing you another case which has a labial defect which is subgingival and I have used a unique instrument to retract the gingiva, isolate it from moisture and bond it with composites and get a beautiful restoration which has an adequate seal or integrity with uh, soft tissues. And the instrument I used is an LM gingiva and this is how it is. It has two sides in which one is single angulated, the other is multi angulated and it has three different tips, a small, a medium and an extra large tip. So for some reason you don't have a large tip, so a small, a medium and an extra large. I use it for the different sizes of the teeth. So now for example if I want to isolate the upper anteriors I use the medium and I fit it like this I engage it well and you can fit it into the gingival sulcus for example yes it engages well into the canines uh, the premolars the second premolars as well and to the laterals you can see a slight gap so you can customize it by rounding the sharp angles and get it adapted against the tooth it also fits against the centrals as well so now if i want to use the other end which is multi-angulated i can use them for the distal most aspect of my molars so now if i want to isolate the distal aspect of the molars i fit the extra large tip and get it fit around the molars and get them restored so this is how it fits i hope this clinical tip was useful to you guys and see you all on the next video bye